Hey guys, so recently I've had a load of questions asking me what my hotkey setup is. Um, so I just thought I'd go over it. Um, a couple of things about hotkeys which are probably more relevant to me than other people as well is because I play 8 tables of zoom simultaneously which is about 2000 hands per hour so if you want to improve the number of hands per hour you're playing then having a good good head hotkey setup is like really important for that um, so this is definitely a video you want to check out if you want to do that and also yeah if you just want to you know relieve some of the pressure on I don't know your, one of your hands or whatever you normally do with but um yeah one of the things which I find really important um, is like the comfort of the keyboard so this is this is actually a keyboard of the laptop I own which I probably played I'm not sure if I played most of my hands on my laptop or my PC but um I love these buttons way more than my PC ones um, the, maybe it's just the setup I'm more used to it maybe I do did play like 70 percent of my hands on my laptop but um what I did had was um so let me try this put it in what would show up red so I only use the function buttons as far as I'm aware don't think I used any of these on my laptop mainly so this would be fold this would be 50 percent uh, this was 75 percent uh, this was pot 100 percent uh, this was then call um, yeah, my handwriting is not very good on the best of days, so, um, yeah, please excuse. Um, F6 is all in, regardless of whatever. Um, this was one third pot. Um, F8 was over bet, uh, out of position, basically. So maybe 100 125% pot. So, <coughs> just put this here. So this should be good enough, I guess. So, yeah, the main buttons were here on the first four. So you know, you ha my hand just sat very comfortably on the first four buttons. Um, fold in PokerStars settings, you can just make it so that if there's if you're not facing a bet, you automatically check. Um, so you know, I'm spamming F1 quite a lot, just cycling through hands, uh, opening the pots for. 50%, 75%, 100%, mainly these two, uh, depending on my mood or the, the time of <laughs> the time of year, whatever strategies I'm employing. Um, through betting out of position, mainly 100%, but um, when I was trying out the the bigger through bets out of position, which people are mainly doing nowadays, um, you know, I'd slam that over there. Um, call was the next. So they were kind of, th this was my original setup. This was in they're all lined up in kind of how often I'm doing them. Um, so these are the most common ones. Calling a bet is kind of infrequent, to be honest. Uh, I was mainly playing as the aggressor, obviously. Uh, F6, you occasionally jam. Um, F7, the small bet, is less frequent. And through betting out position is even less frequent. So I think everything was in those three buttons. And then every now and then I'd have to use my trackpad and set something up. Um, so yeah, this is my favorite setup. Like, if I could move my tra if my laptop keys onto my PC, I'd probably use this one. Um, one thing I would say about this, which was problematic, is um, spamming the F1 on your pinky is like I was getting some pinky pain <laughs> um, after a while or at some time, and yeah, I like changed things about. So um, I wouldn't recommend having fold. If you're gonna set up a set it, if you're gonna make a setup from scratch, I'd recommend having fold on a stronger finger. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I'll show you the piece, of the keyboard I have now. Uh, so let's drag this across. Um, so yeah, the, so one of the setups I was doing was um, using the numpad. Um, so I'm probably not gonna draw them because it'll be a, basically a cluster swear word um so yeah i just had like i think this was like all in this was um like call that was like a third part then you had like i put like stickers on all of these things 
Um, and what I had was um, my left hand on my numpad, which was a bit out of position, um, and then fold was on my, my right hand mouse key. Um, but yeah, the, the benefits of this was that I had all of a lot more bet sizes here. Um, you know, in the previous one I had like three there, one, two, three, so I had like five. On this I had like, you know, ten, um, maybe more. Um, but yeah, I just felt weird, my left hand was quite far across to the right. Um, anyway, I just, recently I've just gone back to my laptop setup where I, you know, have the hotkeys on these keys. Um, everything the same as laptop. Everything the same as the laptop setup except F1 was now my right uh, right mouse key. So that's just kind of how I play now. Folding everything on my right mouse key and yeah, all of my bets across these buttons here. Um, so just go back to the previous one and the hotkey setup should be there. But um, the most important thing to do is just make it work for you. Whatever bet sizes you're using the most often, have them all close together and you know, just churn through the volume and like, it takes, there's always an adjustment period, but you know, having something that's comfortable is definitely the best. So, um, definitely look into setting up hotkeys if you want to improve your volume. And yeah, um, is that all I really want to say? Um, if there's, so the people who are asking for the hotkey video, um, if you can like leave comments if there's something else you want to know, but um, I think that's all I wanted to say on this. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll see you later. I feel like I've missed out loads of stuff, but this will do for now. Alright, bye-bye.